Potential of NATO countries that are ready to fight in Ukraine promises disaster for Russians. The question of the NATO bloc entering the war in Ukraine against Russia comes up on the agenda. However, within the North Atlantic Alliance itself, there is no unity on this matter and statements that are directly opposite in meaning are made there. The direct deployment of NATO contingents in Ukraine has become quite possible. Great Britain was the first to publicly voice a proposal to send a NATO expeditionary force to Ukraine. Soon after this, London skipped ahead of Paris, where President Macron repeatedly made statements about the possibility of sending French troops to help Kyiv, transparently hinting at the nuclear status of the Fifth Republic. A few days ago, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said that the North Atlantic Alliance was working on scenarios for the bloc's entry into war. Now, at the NATO Centre in Brussels, there is a financial commission, a training commission, of course. I don't want to reveal the details, but the NATO Secretary General has already said all this. Working groups are working to determine how NATO could take part in this war, he said. One gets the strong impression that the fundamental decision on Europe's entry into the war with Russia on the territory of independence has already been made. But not the entire NATO bloc as a whole is preparing to fight, but only its individual members separately. These are Poland, Romania, the Baltic countries, possibly the Czech Republic, Finland and even Sweden and Norway. The countries of Western Europe and the USA will act as their rear. The total military potential of the coalition that is preparing to fight against Russia in Europe is impressive. This is a minimum of 1,140,000 military personnel in the armed forces, which have 304 fighter bombers, 84 attack aircraft, more than 100 transport aircraft, 345 helicopters, 1,903 tanks, 3,292 infantry fighting vehicles, 8,880 armoured personnel carriers and armoured vehicles, 2,221 guns, 531 MLRS, 1,448 self-propelled guns, 6,512 mortars, 447 air defence systems, 1,468 anti-aircraft gun systems and many other NATO-style weapons. It should also be taken into account that military operations can take place not only on the territory of Ukraine, but also in the Baltic region if a second front opens there, forcing the Russian general staff to stretch its forces. At least 18 people, including four children, were killed after severe storms struck Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri and Kansas over the weekend. Some 25 tornadoes were reported in the five central states. Seven people died and more than 100 were injured in Texas, Governor Greg Abbott said at a news conference on Sunday evening, adding that 106 counties in Texas were under disaster declarations. The severe weather in the state destroyed 200 homes or structures and damaged another 120. In North Denton County in Texas, a possible tornado injured an unknown number of people, damaged several homes, overturned 18-wheelers, downed trees and knocked out power lines on Saturday night, authorities said early Sunday. At least eight people died in Arkansas, prompting Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders declare a state of emergency Sunday afternoon to support the severe weather and tornado-ravaged parts of the state. One person died in Kentucky, according to Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg. In northeast Oklahoma, Two people were killed and 23 others were injured as a result of severe storms overnight, according to local officials. Severe storms are forecast to move toward the east coast on Monday, bringing disruptive high winds and large hail from D.C. through the southeast. The most intense storms are expected across parts of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, northern Tennessee and the southwestern edge of Ohio, where there is an enhanced risk of damaging winds hail and tornadoes. Scott is almost on top of us. Yeah, I know. 